Well, ladies and gentlemen, you might want to put your puppers on a leash for this one because, man, this BBC Samurai situation still raging wildfires in Japan. It's like it's going crazy right now. And also, it is very, very imperative that you hide your controllers away from Ubisoft because you never know. They might come out and impose a tax on your controller. Yay! Like this video if you think there are two genders. Dislike the video if you think there are 5,000 genders. Because you see for a minute now, Sega's have been beefing, right? Like everybody beefing, 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 be beefing, 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 beefing. Everybody has been beefing over this BBC Samurai situation over Yasuke because Ubisoft made him gay and a samurai in the game. And this situation, and, and the homie Thomas Lockley, he has been caught faking Yasuke being a samurai. So he was caught a while ago. We know he was not gay and he was not a samurai. But guess what? Ubisoft makes him gay and they made him a samurai and of course a lot of people are not happy with it the black homies my black homies are going crazy my japanese homies going crazy everybody's like going crazy with this one so much so that they had to apologize the other day but you're not gonna believe it apparently thomas lockley came out and he said it on video that i, I didn't i don't care <laughs> i don't care it's absolutely hilarious and we also have this story Guys, just clench your butt cheeks, man. Put your seed belts on for this one. Assassin's Creed subreddit threatens to ban players for disputing Ubisoft's original claim that Yasuke is a powerful African samurai of historic legend. Yes, uh oh, roll it. But it would appear that the Yasuke author Thomas Lockley, the guy who brought all of this nonsense to light and revived it as he so claims in this interview, is lying again. As per that Park Place, African samurai author Thomas Lockley lies about collaborating with Ubisoft on Assassin's Creed Shadows amid Yasuke controversy. Now, if you've watched my reporting in the past, you will know that this man did in fact do an interview on behalf of Ubisoft explaining his side of the Yasuke story. Much of what is portrayed in this version of Yasuke in Assassin's Creed Shadows is inspired by Thomas Lockley's work, and this is something yeah. that they have admitted both in their fake apology to the Japanese people and in their past interviews explaining the features of their game. Could you imagine making a game based off of Wikipedia and Thomas Lockley's book? Yeah, they, these suckers made this off of Thomas Lockley's book and Wikipedia. <laughs> that, yeah, man, even in kindergarten, teachers would tell you, back in the days at least, I'm not sure about now, but back in the days they would tell you, hey, Wikipedia is not a good source. Timmy, don't believe Wikipedia. Ubisoft be like, hey, man, we're believing in that right now, man game. But let's read this article from that park place because it provides a lot of information I think you will all find very interesting. So Thomas Lockley, the author of African Samurai, the true story of Yasuke, a legendary black warrior in feudal Japan, lied about collaborating with Ubisoft on Assassin's Creed Shadows. And this is amid the ongoing controversy. So he's like, no, I had nothing to do with it. All right? I'm not involved in any way, even though my name is plastered on the front of the yeah. Ubisoft interview. Drats! Yeah. Those pesky facts keep getting in the way, and these history uh -oh, manipulators hate to see it. it. As it says here in an interview on the Lance E. Lee podcast, a podcast that I do not watch from Tokyo on YouTube, Lockley stated, I don't know whether the game Assassin's Creed Shadows should should have Yasuke as the main character or should have somebody else as the main character. Quite frankly, I don't care. So he's a historian for Japan. He works at Nihon University. I'm not sure if this dude has been fired yet. From the looks of things, it appeared that he would not even though his program has been erased. I guess it's far too controversial to have as a teaching lesson. But he says in this interview that it is not his problem if people don't believe him or not or whether Yasuke should actually be the main character because all that matters to him is that, as per his words, his book is doing well again and that's all he wants for his book to do well. As we read on, Lee asks him, but you have nothing to do with it anyway. Lockley replies, nothing to do with it. And I will show you guys the clip in a video right here. And this video is called a gentleman from Japan, Thomas Lockley, and I will play this clip for you so that you can hear his own words as he describes how he feels about the- <laughs> Oh my god, people went crazy. People went ham on that uh, like and dislike button here. Like the video for two genders, guys. Uh, dislike if you think there are 5,000 genders, man. A gentleman from Japan, Thomas Lockley, Lance E. Lee Podcast, episode 364. Yasuke controversy. Check this out. Death, fighting at his death. Loyal to the end. It's an amazing story. Mm. And I think we should give somebody like that. The Damn, he looks- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Sekas have brought this up that he looks like uh, Tom Cruise and he does a little bit, right? Like, look at him, like... <laughs> he looks like the, the Walmart version. I, I mean, no disrespect to... Uh, we're gonna attack ideas, not people, right? So I'm not even gonna say it, okay? Well, I'll, I take it back, brothers. I take it back. My apologies. My apologies. I don't know whether the game Assassin's Creed should have him as the main character, or should have somebody else as the main character. Quite frankly, I don't care. But you have nothing to do with it. Nothing right? to do with it. You, 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 you see, no, don't attack Yasuke. Yes, okay. No, no, it's nothing. Right. To, though my book's starting to sell well again, which is that's nice. Good. Yeah, that's, that's nice. So like, yeah, yeah, yeah. My book's starting to do well. It's like, no, no, I'm not getting any royalties. No, I'm not getting any recognition. I have nothing to do with it, even though my name is plastered on the front of Ubisoft's podcast. But no, nothing to do with it whatsoever. I mean, my book's starting to do well, so that's nice. I mean, sure, it may be because of all this controversy and because a huge chunk of Japan hates me now. But yeah, my book is doing pretty good. By the way, this podcast, this episode specifically, has 20 likes to 1,000 something <laughs> dislikes. It has been 
get completely destroyed, as many people in the comments do not side with this guy's definition of who Yasuke is, or what samurai was back in the day. These people from Japan are commenting on this video, criticizing his taste. Here's yeah. a person from Japan saying, this person is just a hoax. Another one that that's translated crazy, from Japanese, Thomas bro. Lockley, where are you now? Is it true that you got an associate professor position in London after the incident? Is it true that they have extended- uh, I need my black homies on this one immediately. I need my Japanese homies on this one immediately. I need my white homies. I need my brown homies. I need my purple homies. One thing that is good out of- I, I said it before and I'll say it again because it's true, right? Like, gamers are coming together as one, right? Like, collectively, you know, that's a positive that we got going on right now. Segas are coming together. Segas are going- uh, Segas are coming together. And yes, I, I, I do agree that everybody's beefing, 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 but- Sometimes you gotta beef a little bit for the changes, guys. Bruh. So uh, yeah, man, let's uh, let's uh, let's see what happened next, man their influence to a company that publishes Japanese textbooks professionally and that the textbooks include the fact that Yasuke is a black samurai. Who the heck are you? Who is behind you? Don't you think things are going? Yeah. So other people commenting are saying things like the evil liar and somebody else is saying as a black man with a tremendous love for Japan and its history, you should be ashamed for drawing the country's yeah. ire towards my people with your lies. And I think yeah. that the problem. Yeah, yeah. That, and I said it before. I'll say it again, man. This is not about like uh, making black people look bad. Ubisoft is definitely making black people look bad in this situation. Absolutely. They are using LGBT people and black people as shields. And, and this man gets it. This man gets it. Ubisoft is being racist. Of course, they're being super racist toward Asian people, but they're also being racist towards... Uh, there's another word for it, uh, but but they, yeah, like I said, they're using black people as shields, but make no mistake, they're also being racist towards black people as well, man. So this man gets it. This man... Yeah, a lot of people are waking up, so that's good people have most with this Yasuke author is that he's not apologetic in any way. He doesn't seem to care that for the past decade he's been helping to manipulate history to shape a vision that he saw personally to be true as he described Yasuke in a novel as possibly being homosexual towards Nobunaga, his master Damn. at the time, Damn. the person that he served. This guy had some crazy ideas about Yasuke and he brought Damn. a lot of them to fruition, much to the chagrin of the West and its media outlets who to this very day are still defending the idea that Yasuke could be a samurai even though that has been proven false in many different ways by many different people. Ubisoft of course can post all of the fake apologies that they like but that will not change what reality is and the reality is no one can prove it but what can be proven yeah. is what people are saying on the other side of the argument people from japan specifically who are investigating the yasuke author's claims in his interviews and past instances where he describes his experience with yasuke nasa says in this article headline disappointment in thomas lockley his lies in the japan times rebuttal rebut japanese with naoto this is translated to english from japanese regarding yasuke the next protagonist of assassin's creed whom i wrote about last week thomas lockley who claims to research yasuke's history responded to criticism about him in the japan times so okay. this guy goes through all of the quotes from thomas lockley and he picks them apart and fact checks them in real time. For example, what Thomas Lockley says here is, quote, what it seems to me is that people who know nothing about Japanese history know nothing about Japan in most cases and certainly know nothing about the Japanese language and the terminology they're talking about. Suddenly they know everything, Lockley tells the Japan Times. And this guy responds by saying, at least I am a native Japanese. And he goes on to pick more of those claims apart. As he points out here in a quote, being samurai then was defined by other means whether Yasuke was ever ceremoniously endowed with the rights, privileges, and responsibilities of a samurai, he was addressed as Tono, literally Lord or Master. Okay, this is a claim from Thomas Lockley. And I'll provide a link for you guys okay. to check out in the description because this guy cites several sources where these interviews and quotes can't be found. But he goes on to say, received a stipend from Nobunaga and carried Nobunaga's arms, itself a rank of immense honor for the era. And this guy responds saying he is clearly lying here. Yasuke was not referred to as Tono in historical records. It was mentioned that some thought Nobunaga will make him Tono, which was merely a rumor. It's not something that was proven. And that's something that Thomas Lockley is pushing, among other things about Yasuke. Here's another quote that's ripped apart. There's no piece of paper that says Yasuke was a samurai. Lockley says, okay, so noting that some critics are simply misunderstanding how to interpret the historical record. Quote, but then there's no piece of paper that says anybody else was a samurai. So he's like, well, there's no proof that he was a samurai but there's also no proof that he wasn't, which is also a talking point that we have seen the media cite several times. And this guy says in response how unreliable he is. A proper historian would conclude there is no historical evidence that Yasuke was called a samurai. His status was likely that of a page. However, he says there is no evidence that Yasuke was called a samurai, but nobody crazy. else was called a samurai at that time either. So let's call him a samurai. And that is- that That's crazy, bro. That is crazy that, uh, and he's just happy that his book started to sell, <laughs> sell more again. He said that, oh, of course. <laughs> And this is why, and I gotta, I wanna show you guys this as well. There's a lot more. Uh, but, and, and yeah, wait for this one, man. Wait for this one. Shout out to the homie. Shout out to the homie, Dread Roberts. Uh, we're gonna check out the homie, Hypnotic, in a second as well. But the, the craziest thing here is this, right? That, holy crap, he did it to sell his books. And this is what we were talking about the other day as well. I don't know if this game is gonna sell like crazy good or crazy bad. A lot of people anticipating that it's gonna sell well, a lot of people anticipating that it's not gonna sell that well, it's gonna flop. Now, I have been saying this, if you like it, go for it, it's your money, you do you. But at the end of the day, if you're somebody, if you're a Japanese person uh, watching this video and you're thinking that, and you think that this is like, 
they're really uh, pissing on your culture because they are and if you care for your culture yeah absolutely don't buy the game uh, with your wallet if you're a black person watching this video you you don't want to see your uh, race being portrayed like this badly it's always nowadays it's like always is like that you know whenever they they have a black protagonist turns out he's he or she's always gay so they always do that bro they always uh, portray black people uh, like that right and if you're an lgbt people uh, watching this they're using you guys as shields as well man they're they're making you guys ugly in the game just a ask yourself this right like uh, i'm not against anybody that's lgbt or anything like that i'm against the idea of them pushing it to all of us and, and all the, the the kids out there that's that's what i'm against it okay i don't like that but i got no problem with if you are or not you live your life uh, i'm cool with you living if you're happy you're happy i'm happy for you right simple as that i'm not I, I i got no part in that okay simple as that that's where i'm at okay you do you boo boo that's where i'm at but see like when you look at it from an objective lens okay we're not even talking opinions every time they put an lgbt person in game they're ugly they're really really ugly in games why is that think about this way right like fable perfect example perfect example so look at that so this is a man dressed up as a female but they're saying it's a female when it's not it's not okay uh, all right let's just say it's a female right that because that's what microsoft is saying it's not but microsoft is saying xbox is saying fable is saying that this is a female but look at how ugly they made him uh or her whatever right like objectively objectively speaking you guys uh gotta wake up as well so they're using you guys as shields they are saying that lgbt people are actually ugly ass in game so they're the ones saying that not me not you uh, or i mean uh, not people here uh they're the ones saying that so now a lot of people are waking up and th that's good so and also from an objective standpoint like forget about like all the woke stuff that's going on right like the game i mean come on man like the game looks like straight from playstation 3 era like even star wars star wars looks even worse than a game that we had all the way back during the playstation 3 and xbox 360 era like come on man we deserve better games than that so if you forget about the woke stuff if you don't care for the woke stuff you want the game being games being good in general you gotta work with your wallet if you think this looks good go for it buy it but all i'm saying is that what with your wallets uh, if you really think that we deserve better games i think we deserve better games if you think that we deserve better games then you gotta work with your wallets but uh oh wait for it is a detail that is glossed over often especially when it comes to thomas lockley's perception of what the japanese people think about his interpretation he thinks that the japanese people see yasuke as a hero he thinks yasuke is a hero and he claims it over and over again and in his mind because yasuke is a hero that means that the rest of japan also thinks that he is a hero and so because of that everybody will just automatically accept when he says that yasuke is a samurai even though evidence points to that not being the case he doesn't even consider for a split second that maybe people will disagree with him and so he just runs with it and now he's made a ton of money off of that whim decision he doesn't seem to understand that many of the japanese people do not appreciate his interpretation or the fact that he lacks accountability with his own misinterpretations that he's made in his own books, going as far as to label Yasuke as a possible bisexual, even though there is plenty of evidence contrary to that idea. And we see much more of this as we scroll down. This dude rips That up is crazy, man. Like, they made a dead man gay. A dead man gay. Like, imagine this, right? Like, you do amazing things in your life. Ubisoft makes a... Or, or I'm, I'm just, like, hypothetically, right? Like, I'm not talking about Yasuke here, per se, but I'm saying, like, you watching this video, right? If you do amazing things in your life you're in heaven right now you're chilling in heaven you're like you see see one day one day they will make a game on me one day they will talk about me ubisoft is the first one to make game on you you happy you like oh my god let's get it let's go bro let's go guess it up get gang gang all that right no cap no cap no cap they're making a game on me you know of whatever terminologies kids uh, use nowadays right like you're hyping yourself up you're hyping your parents up your parents hyping you up your loved ones hyping you up and maybe random people in heaven right they're also like hyping you up yeah bro like we we saw you doing good things in uh, in this life right oh, or in your past life uh, we're happy for you that ubisoft is making a game on you and ubisoft the first thing they do they make you gay they make you gay. <laughs> it's like, what, what are we talking about? And I said this, I said it before, I'll say it again. If Yasuke was actually gay in real life, then makes sense. That makes sense uh, for him to be gay in Assassin's Creed. If he was, you know what I mean, right? But he was not. And they still made him, though. Just insanity. Wait for it. 
apart all of these guys' posts, he references other people from Japan who are expressing their own concerns about the Yasuke subject, which is, by the way, a sore subject, a very sore one right now. However, it is only a subject that can be discussed on neutral channels. If you go to other avenues for information, prepare to be very disappointed because as per that park place, again, Assassin's yeah. Creed subreddit is threatening to ban people for disputing Ubisoft's original claim. Hey, 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 come on, come on, tranquilo. Tranquilo, papi, or I should say tranquilo uh, subreddit or reddit. Tranquilo, reddit. Tranquilo. That Yasuke is a powerful African samurai of historical legend. You are not allowed to say that he is not a samurai anymore. If Wikipedia locks that information in against the will of the people, then by golly, you have to abide by that. And that is something that they will ban you for if you question it. To be honest with you, I'm actually surprised that people even go on Reddit for anything anymore other than for the memes and the lols. But here we are. As they say in the article, moderators for the Assassin's Creed subreddit threatened to ban players who post in the forum disputing developer Ubisoft's original claim that Yasuke is a powerful African samurai of historical legend. Ubisoft originally claimed and still does claim that Yasuke is a powerful African samurai of historical legend. They have only apologized for the PR and they have only admitted that it is a subject of debate. Not Yeah, same energy, right? Strong, independent. I mean, to be honest though, Ubisoft is not lying. He is powerful. <laughs> he is powerful. Okay, we're getting like the best moment. Okay, this is one of the best moment of the game. All right, wait for it. Yo, 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 it's coming guys, it's coming. It's coming. Wait for it, wait for it. Damn, homie. Oof. Yeah, right in the kisser. Sending the man straight to Nobunaga. It's coming. There's another. Up the road with the castle. Come in, it's coming. Protector turned the persecutor. Protector turned prosecutor. Greed cannot rule this village. Not while I have breath in my lungs and a blade in my head. <laughs> Oh my god, bro. Oh my god, man. Damn. Damn, man. You will have to spill it first. Crazy, brothers. Crazy. Holy. Yeah, the, the Japanese don't even stand a chance, bro. They Y'all y'all don't stand a chance. Not the fact that he has not been proven as a samurai, they just lie about it, and fake apologies all day long. But Reddit is not the only place where you will see information being manipulated and twisted to fit a certain vision. I've seen plenty of activity on X itself, where hundreds of thousands of people are being misguided every single day. And that is also true for the subject of Yasuke. Hundreds of thousands of people saying, Thomas Lockley's words are real. This Japanese historian for this entertainment company that is owned by BlackRock is real, and everything he says is true. You know, these people are just absorbing and sucking up every single thing that comes their way that could be beneficial to their side, regardless of if it's true or not. And they just run with it all day long. You can't talk about Yasuke not being a samurai because it doesn't fit these people's narrative. If they want Yasuke to be real in Assassin's Creed Shadows, then they are going to do it, no matter what you say, no matter what you do. Yeah. And if you even attempt to show these facts to the developers, to the media, and the people yeah. who perpetuate those lies, aka Thomas Lockley himself, you're, you're racist, you're problematic, you don't deserve to live in a society going to be called an ist and a phobe of a certain type, even though Thomas Lockley himself is white, which is hilarious because so many people who are defending him about this may not even realize that he's a white guy from the UK, <laughs> and they may also not realize- There we go. There we go. Bumbocard. As a brown man, I'm sick and tired of everybody playing the race card, man. Lies that he has only been manipulating information in order to shape his own vision. He has not been the first person to try and depict Yasuke as a samurai. That was done in the 60s and it was done long ago. The only documents that we have about Yasuke are the same documents that Thomas Lockley used for his novel, which in turn was also used by other sources, including the media and Ubisoft, a game development company, in order to push this narrative about Yasuke being some legendary black samurai who put Japanese oppressors in their place on occasion. But that is way too sore of a subject because it shatters so many people's realities. So in that case, we should talk about a game that is not set in historical accuracy. Let's talk about Star Wars Outlaws, a game that has been riddled in controversy alongside Assassin's Creed Shadows, and the people who have been granted access to play this brand new game for a few select hours have shown their audiences that they are either disappointed, not very impressed, or confused at the beauty of the game's environmental details and yet disastrous core mechanic. I mean, it's Ubisoft. It's Ubisoft, bro. Ubisoft, Ubisoft, what else do you expect? This game looks worse than a game, objectively speaking, right? It looks worse than a game that we had all the way back in PlayStation during PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360. Such as forced stealth gameplay, which, by the way, if you have watched any of the stealth gameplay for Star Wars Outlaws, then prepare yourselves because it looks a lot like Mary Jane Watson's stealth mechanics in Spider-Man and its sequel. So of yes, course, that is a core mechanic. Course. It is something that you absolutely have to do sometimes. And another of important course. note, if you do get killed during a stealth section, you get to start all the way back at a checkpoint. Uh, as Mr. Matty Play says in this video, he was pretty bummed about some of the things he saw in this game. Check out what he says here in this clip. And I can't see everyone loving the stealth options here because mechanically 
frankly, it doesn't feel the best. And outside of a single stun shot for my blaster or some melee takedowns, my early options felt very limited for what clearly is a key part of the game. Now, I do like that your blaster pistol is a bit of a multi-tool. Like you can do an electric shot on it to open a doorway and you can find collectibles in there. There's an adrenaline meter attached to it. You see this like right in the beginning of landing on Tushara where you can just take out three enemies at once. You can use it while you're on your speeder and, and shoot over your shoulder and take someone out. Like you can do these cool things with your blaster. So you're not completely limited, but it feels like the game was built for combat, but then uses a lot of stealth gameplay. And he also expresses in this clip that he knows how upset people were about the Tatooine gameplay, which looked horrible, but says that he notices improvements here. But this is something that Ubisoft players have come to expect from this developer for a while now. A lot of people are saying that this game is underwhelming, underdeveloped. They say that it's fun yeah. in some places, but it doesn't do anything that stands out in particular. And for such a huge game, such as Star Wars, this is pretty much like the first yeah. open world Star Wars video game, if you don't count Galaxies or Star Wars The Old Republic or Jedi Survivor for that matter, then I suppose it is one of the first Star Wars open world games. It just does not do anything particularly interesting that stands out from other open world games, especially Ubisoft open world games. It looks a lot like those <laughs> games. Some of the mechanics look out. At, at this point, if you're expecting a Ubisoft game to be uh, quadruple A, I mean, come on, man. At this point, like, just, just, just slap yourself, bro. Just slap yourself. We're talking Ubisoft here. And, and honestly, where are the games, man? Where are the next gen games? Yes, we had God of War, Spider-Man 2, but those games, I wouldn't call them like next gen. They, they, they look good. I'm talking like graphically. They look good, sure. But are they really next gen when you think about it? They are not. I would say God of War 2018 for the time, because you guys gotta understand that we had God of War 3. I, I love all the God of War games uh, personally, right? Uh, but God of War 3 is my all-time favorite. Let me know your uh, favorite God of War game in the comments if you played. Ragnarok was all right as well, but I prefer God of War 2018 over Ragnarok because uh, the, the story was a lot more punchy, a lot more impactful. And, and uh, I guess there's also this uh, aspect to it as well that, that I like because, you know, we had God of War 3, God of War Ascension uh, during like the PlayStation 3 era. And then you go from that to God of War 2018 on the PlayStation 4. Graphically speaking, that game was amazing though. It was such a leap and it really felt like a next gen game for the time and it still holds up to this day. Now, God of War Ragnarok uh, also looks good. So this is not me saying that graphically looks bad. No, no, absolutely looks amazing. Uh, it was slightly, slightly better than God of War 2018, but see, it didn't, a lot of people I remember at the time was saying that it's a DLC, bro, it's a DLC, bro. I wouldn't call it a DLC, but graphically speaking, it felt like a DLC. It didn't feel, because uh, it was, it, but I get it though, it was like a continuation of the story. But the point is, it's a good game, it's not necessarily a DLC, but it also isn't a next-gen game essentially. So I'm saying like, where are the next-gen games? Where are the next-gen games? I, I rather take God of War Ragnarok's uh, like game than Assassin's Creed and Star Wars because these games look worse than PlayStation 3 games. So I would rather, yeah, uh, of course, like we should up the standards, but <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm asking where are the next gen games? But, but nowadays we're getting games that are worse than PS3 and Xbox 360 looking games. I rather PS4 and Xbox One looking games than PS3 looking games. So yeah, I know standards are falling, but crazy stuff man let me know your thoughts guys check out this video on the screen because recently the mr b situation is absolutely going crazy i'm not sure if you guys were able to catch this or not check this video out if you already seen it then check out the video on the left